I'm going to explain the derivation of Marshallian demand functions uh, from the Cobb Douglas type of utility function. The Mar Marshallian demand functions uh, express the quantity demanded of a commodity uh, as a function of income level and the prices of the commodities. And such demand functions can be derived from the utility maximization program of the consumer. Uh, the Marshall and demand functions will be of the form uh, like this, where xi is the quantity demanded of commodity xi and w is uh, the consumer's income level and p is the vector of prices. So to derive the uh, demand function from the Cobb Douglas utility function let us consider a case of two commodities and let us consider the utility function u function of x1 and x2 equals to x1 to the power alpha and x2 to the power beta where alpha and beta are positive parameters so in this case, the utility maximization program UMP of the consumer can be expressed as uh, maximize uh, by choosing the value of X1 and X2. U X1 X2 equals X1 alpha X2 to the power beta subject to subject to the budget constraint of the consumer which can be expressed as p1 x1 plus p2 x2 equals his total wealth w so <laughs> we can maximize the consumer's utility uh, by using the lagrangian multiplier method or we can simply use the consumers optimization conditions of uh, the optimization condition of the consumer can be expressed simply as the marginal rate of substitution between two commodities sorry between two commodities x1 and x2 will be equal to the price ratio p1 over p2 so this condition can be derived by using the Lagrangian optimization technique and we will use the shortcut so let us first derive the marginal rate of substitution marginal rate of substitution between the first and second commodity is simply the ratio of marginal utilities uh, or the ratio of partial derivatives so del u over del x1 del u over del x2 so our utility function is u x1 x2 is x1 to the power alpha x2 to the power beta so the derivative will the derivative with respect to x1 will be so x2 to the power beta is constrained alpha x1 alpha minus 1 and here x1 to the power alpha is constrained beta x2 to the power beta minus 1 so if we simplify this uh, this will be alpha and we take it to the numerator and take this to denominator and it will be uh, x2 to the power beta minus beta plus 1 which is x2 upon beta x1 so this this is our marginal rate of substitution so now 
we equate the marginal rate of substitution with the price ratio which will be alpha x2 over beta x1 is p1 by p2 so from this we can derive the optimal condition as x2 is p1 over p2 uh, beta over alpha times x1 so now we use uh, this in the budget constraint to derive the <coughs> demand function so now let us do that uh, the budget constraint is p1x1 plus p2x2 is total wealth so this is p1x1 plus p2 times x2 is this one uh, p1 over p2 beta over alpha x1 is total wealth so this now becomes So this P2 is cancelled, so this becomes X1 times 1 plus beta over alpha equals to, sorry, P1 also, P1, X1. So this is X1 is wealth over, so now this becomes uh, alpha plus beta over alpha which is alpha w over alpha plus beta times p1 so <coughs> this is the ordinary demand or the Marshall and demand function for the first commodity and is expressed often as the function of wealth and the prices of the commodities or we express the Marshall and demand for the first commodity as x1 which is the function of wealth and the price vector is given by alpha over alpha plus beta times w over p1 so this is the Marshall and demand function for the first commodity so now we, we we substitute the value of x1 in this optimal condition and we get the optimal demand for the second commodity adds so when you substitute this it will be p1 over p2 times beta over alpha times x1 is alpha times w over alpha plus beta times p1 so p1 will be cancelled uh, and alpha will be cancelled and it will be beta times beta times w over alpha plus beta times p2 so this is the Marcel and demand function for the second commodity. See the speed. So the the Marcel and demand function so now let us consider the utility function utility x1 x2 is x1 to the power alpha x2 to the power beta so the Marshall and demand function will be uh, of the firm like this one the, the the power of x1 divided by the sum of the the sum of the powers of x1 and x2 so 
if we have the condition alpha plus beta is one so the demand functions will be reduced simply to alpha w over p1 and beta w over p2 so so we can remember the demand function simply as the the demand functions will be the demand functions for a specific commodity will be its power divided by the sum of the powers times wealth over the price of the commodity so if we remember this property we can we can immediately visualize the demand functions for a cobb douglas type of utility function for example utility of x1 x2 is simply x1 x2 so in this case alpha is 1 and beta is 1 so the demand function will be x1 is 1 divided by 2 times w by p1 and x2 will be 1 divided by 2 times w by p2 so again consider the utility function u x1 x2 is suppose x square sorry x1 square x2 square so in this case x1 so in this case x1 will be 2 over 4 times w over p1 so this is w over 2 p1 which is same as before so this is so because this this utility function is the monotonic transformation of this utility function by simply squaring the this utility function we get the utility function below so the demand function will be same so again the demand function for the second commodity will be so this is 2 divided by 2 plus 2 which is 4 times w over p2 which is w over 2 p2 so by remembering this technique we can immediately find the demand function in case of cobb dotless utility function so we can try some other examples too uh, for example the utility function is x1 x2 is x1 to the power 1 by or x2 to the power 3 web so in this case the demand function for x will be given by so 1 over 4 divided by the sum of coefficients 1 over 4 plus 3 over 4 1 over 4 plus 3 over 4 times w over p1 which is this is 1 which is w over 4 p1 and x2 will be 3 over 4 divided by 1 over 4 plus 3 over 4 times w over p2 which is 3w over 4 p2 so thank you for watching this video uh, in the next video I will explain the derivation of demand functions uh, in case of Carl Douglas utility function, but there will be n commodities.